Hi everyone, this is Saucy the Tobo Chef. I was about to edit this video and realized I forgot to do an introduction of what I was going to be doing. So uh, this video that is coming up is um, green bean casserole crockpot style. And I put in certain seasonings that nobody else does. So that's going to be a little bit different for you. And trust me, it is really good. So let's continue on. Oh, but before I do, I will come back uh, with a couple comments and then we'll uh, go from there. Okay? Be right back. Welcome back. All right. Uh, first things first the Chromebook. Had little issues, but I got them straightened out. Hopefully, I'm going to... Uh, the thing is that they're saying it could take up to 30 days before delivery. <sighs> yes, frustration has set in in reference to that. So, as soon as I know I get an actual delivery date, I will let you all know. And then we'll be able to do the live. So, it might be after the first of the year. Oh, well, that's something I got to deal with right now. All right, secondly, the second batch of cards, I put them <laughs> in the uh, drop box. Guess what I forgot to do with them? Put a stamp on them. Thank God I, we got a small post office. They know me. <laughs> they saw all my cards. They put them all in my uh, uh, post office box. And they put stamped up the top, postage due. So those of you there are getting the second batch of cards, you're going to see a stamp underneath the stamp <laughs> saying postage due. That's the reason why. <laughs> I've been working long hours, so y'all need to forgive me. And with Christmas coming up, I also got plans. I am headed to Alabama uh, with, a, for, with a special friend. And I'm going to get some... Wind therapy. And if those those that don't know what wind therapy is, you're not a biker. I'm a biker, and I've been invited to come down for Christmas at their house, and we're going to be doing a lot of riding. <laughs> and from what I understand, it's between sixty and seventy degree weather. Perfect. And get away from Grand Rivers where it's freezing. But then I find out we're going to have sixty degree weather here too during Christmas. <laughs> no white Christmas here. All right, on to the, uh, the video uh, in reference to the, uh, the green bean casserole. And I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. Okay, what we have here is I've... Blanch uh, some green beans in some hot water. Yes, it's still a little hot. Uh, I'm just letting it sit till I get done with the, what, the beginning. Uh, of course, we got the uh, French's uh, fried onions. Two cans of cream of mushroom soup. I've got some chicken seasoning. This is really good in it. Some coconut oil to uh, to also saute some uh, the garlic and the onions. And of course, I'll have a cup of milk to be able to mix with uh, these two right here. All right, so let's get started. Be right back. Okay, first we start off with sauteing the, um, the onions and the garlic. Get them cooked up. Just enough, not too much, because all this is going to go in a crock pot. But you want to be able to get some type of a uh, looseness to this. And so it won't take long for this. So I'll be right back. One can of milk out of the two cans of uh, cream of mushroom. Okay, there's also one thing else I forgot to say we need. Cheese. I love the Velveeta uh, shreds. 
in this. It melts really good, and it gives it a really good flavor. So uh, let me get everything together here, and then I'll show you how I put it all together. All right, be right back. Okay, add in the um, onions and the garlic. Ooh, God, I can smell the onions and garlic now. It smells good. Oh, got to get all that. Mix that in really good. Let it drain in. Next, I'm going to add the seasoning. Remember, I live in a small area, so I gotta reach around things. This is what makes it different. And I'm even gonna add a little bit of, um, oh, that was Uncle Steve's shake, by the way, the spicy R. And that's what I meant, I said I was gonna add. Anyways, and now I'm gonna add the chicken as well. Ah, come out a little bit better than that. There we go. Adding that makes it taste so much better than just adding salt and pepper. And of course, mix in the mushroom sauce. I thought about doing it in a different way, but I couldn't find the one ingredient. So when I do find this one ingredient, I had it here before, but I already used it for something else I ate, and I couldn't find it again. So I'm going to probably redo this dish another day with this one ingredient. It will bring out the flavor so much better. All right, then you mix it all together. Somewhat let it drain in just a little bit as it cooks it will drain in more all right let it cook just a little bit more turn it on to high for about two hours then we add the cheese and the crispy fried onions then i'll show you when we come back all right be right back well it's almost done we just have a couple items to add in for approximately 30 more minutes first off is the cheese get that stirred in along with some of the crispy fried onions. Save some for the topping. Yep, that should be enough. Oh yeah. Doesn't that look good? Nice and creamy. Let that cook in for uh, about 30 minutes and it will be done. And I'll see if I can get a better picture of the ending. All right, be right back. Okay, I've got the uh, creeping uh, mushroom with one can of milk out of the two can. Whoa. Here we go. God, I'm really screwing up on this video. Oh, bloopers, bloopers, bloopers. Just call me the blooper queen. 